What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to be taking a look at the newly announced exotic scout rifle believed to be coming with the Dark Below expansion pass this December, it's called the 347 Vesta Dynasty. We're going to, have to take a look at the weapon and take a look at its stats. Uh, but before we get into that, can I just say if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content, be sure to subscribe. And if you could help this video out with a like, I do appreciate the support. Now, the information in this video is actually taken from Destiny Tracker, an amazing Destiny website. I will link it in the video description if you guys want to go and check it out. Now, getting into the actual video and this weapon, like I said, the 347 Vesta Dynasty is believed to be coming out with the Dark Below expansion pass this December. And it is, I've gone through its mods and it looks like an absolute beast. I'll read you the brief description it has. A reef scout hunts for years, fighting piracy and ancient traps to crack one cache and claim the weapons within. Now it's a primary weapon, it's a scout rifle, its quality level is 100. Obviously you need to be a level 20 to get it. Its rate of fire is 37, its impact is at 48. That's pretty high, both of them are pretty high for a scout rifle. Uh, then we have range which is 61, stability which is 54. Um, not as good as some uh, scout rifles that are already in the game. And its reload is 67, it's got a magazine size of 19. All in all, looks pretty badass so far. Then we have, obviously it's a kinetic damage weapon. And then we have accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. Then we have smooth ballistics, less recoil, penalty to range. And then we have aggressive ballistics, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, shorter range and more recoil. We actually can't apply these perks to see how they affect all the range and impact and shit. But obviously we know they do. Then we have um, Goliath, non-precision kills, temporary increased armor stat for 15 seconds. And then we have David, precision kills, temporary increased agility stat for 15 seconds. So we have David and Goliath for this weapon, badass. Then we have one of five damage upgrades. Then we have single point sling, switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming. Uh, hammer forge, improved range and accuracy. And then we have perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil. Then we have life support, recovering from near death grants additional ammo and briefly increases reload speed. And then we have another four damage upgrades. Now, all in all, what we know about this weapon so far, there's actually no images of the weapon apart from this one you can see here, this little thumbnail. There's no other images I can find anywhere at the minute. But as far as I do know, it has been confirmed for the Dark Below DLC. And I actually am looking forward to it. Over the past month, I've been using more and more scout rifles, more so in PvE. And I've been loving them the more I've used them. Uh, my best at the minute is definitely the medium multi tool, but I do like the the Vision of Confluent and the Proxy Century. Uh, they're pretty badass scout rifles also, but this one looks like on a whole different level. And with that David and Goliath perk as well, I can't wait for this bad boy. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this exotic scout rifle down below in that comments section. Any more information comes on any new weapons, I will be sure to bring it to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Thanks as always though for watching, and peace out until next time. Peace.